today I'm being um, a bit silly with it. I've now just stuck a water radiator on it. Um, but instead of that, it's got liquid propane flowing through it. Um, I'm getting really nice cold air coming off it, but uh, it's it's a crap design for an evaporator simply because it's not like a continuous pipe going through it. It's like they're all just parallel going like that and then back again. And it only seems to be really freezing up the top. Um, this is just um, here. It's all the way open just now, but um, it's just so that I can close everything off. Um, so I can change my evaporator out without having to lose all the refrigerant. All I'll lose is just the small amount that's in there rather than the large amount that's in the compressor. Um, so if I adjust this, restrict it a bit more, I should get colder air. Looks like it's actually got enough refrigerant in it. So I'll just put more in just now. Need to restrict it enough so you get at least some liquid coming through, I think that's the idea. But all it seems to be doing is just getting caught in the top there. Um I might have to turn it on its side or something because as you can see this is freezing up so it's not really so much a radiator. It's just not really a suitable design. Uh, what I'll put on it next is uh, it's it's lying in the back somewhere but I've got an uh, evaporator. <laughs> Off an old freezer. Um, should be in here somewhere. Here we go. This is the evaporator on its side. Here coming out is absolutely freezing. Um, as you can see, the whole thing's freezing up. So that's what we want. Um, if I try and uh, clear this pipe here, mm. condensation. Uh, should be able to see the liquid flowing through there liquid propane. I think there is some liquid getting returned back. That works really nicely as an air chiller. The only thing is that's preventing me from putting longer tubes on it is that uh, I've no tube left, it's actually particularly clean. All this is all I have left, the rest of them like smell like petrol and stuff. And um, I don't want to put too much contaminants through it. But uh, that's working quite well. And it's currently taking 220 watts, so that's a lot better at refrigerating than a Peltier device anyway. That's what I used to use. Um mm. And it'll just crap. It consumed over a thousand watts and took ages to get um, either a bottle like that down to freezing. So um, the way I defrost this is I just open up the expansion valve all the way. and uh, that melts all the frost because what I'm going to do now is uh, switch this all off and then try and put the old freezer evaporator on it which is quite a lot bigger so here's the freezer evaporator on um, let's give it a try I probably need more refrigerant as this has a large internal volume There we go, that's liquid flowing. So we'll just leave that for a little while and see what happens. So I'm back again. Um, 
as I said, I was just going to leave it to run for a while. Um, I'm just about to do that um, just now. I was busy doing other stuff, but uh, liquid refrigerant seems to be flowing quite well. In 10 minutes, that's the whole thing frozen up. Um, so that's working brilliantly. Um, it's probably full of contamination with me uh, using uh, PVC tubing there, but the uh, whole thing's working so well that it's actually frozen all the way back up to here. So that's another of our created design tried.